Hey fellow tennis nerds and welcome to the Bubble Up Pure Strike 100 racket review. This is the 2019 version, the updated version that people are quite curious about. Dominic Thiem endorses the 98 square inch one, but Bubble Up decided to release the 100 square inch and the Thiem version before the 98. So I'm really curious about the 98 because I really think that this edition is an improvement. Why it is an improvement? Well, it has a more dampened feel in the sense that it is more arm friendly, despite a high stiffness rating. It seems to have tech that actually works, such as control framed technology. It's the shape of the frame that's supposed to be a square beam frame with more of a dynamism of a regular structure. That's what they say on the website. Not sure that works or not. It's very hard to, to tell. They also have C2 pure feel, which is kind of the up update to Cortex system that used to be above the handle. This is powered by SMAC, so it's a cutting edge vibration filtration layup system that brings pure feel on every shot, to quote. I think this is the one that really gives you a more dampened response, especially when it comes to the arm issues that you could encounter with the predecessor. I feel like this is much more muted despite giving you a decent feel. So they have done some good work on improving the arm friendliness, which I think is kind of the trend now in the industry with the clash and um, the head gravity is that they work more with arm friendly rackets i think it's a good trend i think it makes a lot of sense instead of stiffening rackets and creating problems with elbows and wrists for people who play tennis on a weekly basis or uh, recreational players that just love to to hit the ball from time to time so the new pure strike has the following specs it's kind of a classic one 100 square inches uh, head size 16 19 string pattern these are all pretty standard it has a 32 centimeter or seven points headlight unstrung balance so with strings you're looking at 33 centimeter or around four points headlight which makes it really stable the question is uh, for some players it might be a bit difficult to swing it's not the fastest racket through the air so that's good to know it's 72 ra stiffness rating it's quite a stiff racket but the dampening seems to work well so i think bublet still believes in giving the players extra power and focus on that in the marketplace might be a good idea might not be i don't know but a lot of players like bubble out rackets so i'm sure they're onto something the new pure strike i strung it up with a couple of different strings to give it a proper play test with yonex polytor strike which was my least favorite string in this racket they didn't really communicate well in my opinion for some reason and i strung it up with msv co-focus hex 1.23 gauge at 24 kilos uh, because you need to string a bit higher with this frame in my sense because to, to dampen the power a bit because it is a very powerful racket i strung it up with bubble out rpm blast rough yellow as well uh, which i like probably the most so it seems to complement the bubble string the best the msv was also fine uh, i wouldn't recommend the yonex polytor strike it just had a weird uh, feel to it in this racket although i like it in other rackets it's very important when you look for a racket and a string combo that you give them a proper test because not all rackets and strings seem to fit well for each other so that's a good point taking it out this racket onto the court the number one feature for me was to serve i really like serving with this racket because you get that extra power decent spin from the string bed although it's a bit tighter than the pure aero and uh, also i think the pure drive but you get good spin good power very easy to place your serves so i think that would be my number one shot for this racket really nice if you have a flatter game because you can really flatten out the, your shots for massive power and go for the lines the issue with that playing style as is with this racket is that you need to be really on your game or be super confident about your abilities to be able to hit that shot over and over otherwise this racket can take the ball a bit long because it is quite powerful you do get a lot for free which uh, some of the guys that have been testing this racket together with me can reiterate it's really nice to have all that free power uh, but with great power comes great responsibility as vj said i think that you need to be able to control it uh, for that you might require to hit with a lot of spin definitely worth a try maybe for a doubles player who uh, want a big sweet spot i really enjoyed it on uh, volleys super stable just put your racket uh, really point and shoot and the ball will travel there so volleys and serve were really my favorite shots also liked it on the backhand because it's quite easy to just hit through the ball even if you hit the slightly off center on 
on your backhand, this racket seems to send the ball straight to the other side anyway, so I think the sweet spot is quite large. So there are a lot of good things going on with the new pure strike. Still, it's a bit too powerful for my liking. I was having a few sessions where I really felt, wow, you know, I'm, I'm hitting the lines and uh, some of my opponents told me I'm playing better with this frame. But then I had some issues when I lost confidence and I wasn't moving as well and suddenly the balls were sailing on me, so I can't really play 100% confidently with this frame. Although I do think it is a really nice update and I think I'm impressed with how they managed to reduce the vibrations and the issues with arm friendliness despite having a really high stiffness rating. So that's a, that's a good job. At times with the wrong string, that muting of this uh, of the frame vibrations will give you less feedback, which is natural. It reminds me a little bit of the countervail. It's not maybe as dampened as the Wilson countervail tech, but it is dampened for sure. And uh, sometimes you don't really feel the ball. With a lot of dampening, you know, you dampen some of the response from the racket. Nice update, really happy with it. Quite a lot of fun. Makes me look forward to the 98 square inch version a lot more because I think that's gonna be an excellent frame where you get a bit more control than this one because of the large head size and really plows through the ball. Great stability, great power, really fun to use. Just pair it with the right string. You probably need to string it around 24, 25 kilos, which is 53, 54 pounds. You need to be at that tension with a poly to really be able to control the power. That would be my recommendation anyway. Some rackets are spin friendly enough to play with really low tensions. I didn't feel like this one did well with a low tension. It's not like a pure aero VS where you can play with a really low tension. The ball just spins over to the other side of the court anyway. But this one felt like I had to dial up the tension a bit to make sure I could control the ball. But nice play test. Really enjoyed it. I think it is a good update. Please keep in mind that the power is quite high. So um, you know what you're getting with a pure strike 100. They have done some significant improvements when it comes to the dampening and that makes me really curious about the other models in this lineup. I hope you uh, enjoyed this review. You're gonna see some uh, footage, more footage of the gameplay. I also brought a few other guys with me to talk about the racket. They give their various different opinions. Some guys were really smitten, some guys were not sure sure. So uh, it really depends on what playing style you have and what you're comfortable with on the racket. So if you can demo this, I really suggest you do it because it's a nice frame, but you need to make sure that it's a power frame that you're looking for. That's it for this uh, Tennis Nerd racket review. Thanks for all the support and nice messages we get on Tennis Nerd. I also appreciate everyone that subscribes on Patreon, that helps me build this website and uh, social media profile a, a bit more. If you wanna buy stuff, you can always check out the Tennis Nerd shop where we have dry fit t-shirts and regular t-shirts. We're gonna add some more stuff there with Tennis Nerd branding. And there's also slightly used, often tested racket from my own collection that I'm selling there. Uh, so please check them out and, and buy some if you're interested. Make sure to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and uh, please also subscribe subscribe to our newsletter. We're gonna do some uh, newsletter only giveaways soon, so it's good to be subscribed to the newsletter and it's obviously free. So uh, why not put your email address there and you're gonna get some news every week from Tennis Nerd and there will be some giveaways only to the newsletter list. Thanks a lot, have a nice day and I hope you get to play some tennis. You wonder about the farm animals on the back of this tennis court, it looks like this. This smells like shit. Now you know what's going on behind the Big Icaro Tennis Club. Great club, great uh, person arranging it in Eleno Mamo, but it's a bit different to play around farm animals.
Like Spider-Man said, with great power comes great responsibility. This racket has uh, comparatively a lot more power than my older Yonex. What I was feeling was that since the racket is doing everything for me, I had to not only shorten my follow-through, but also I had to change the way I was hitting the ball. I had to close, uh, close my racket face, so that was one thing that allowed me to spin the ball. And also, the way I was driving the ball, uh, I, was, I had to start from a higher position, because the moment I went a little bit more deeper on my take-back, that resulted in a massive high ball, because uh, uh, owing to the power. So, a couple of things technically I had to change. And once I was feeling home with it, it was doing half the things by itself. But if you are, uh, let's say, playing at an amateur level, and if you are not able to find this uh, combinations, then probably it might be a bit of a challenge. All right, hi, fellow tennis nerds. Today I'm here with a new guy to the channel, Matthew Casar Torrigiani. Hi, guys. One of Malta's best players. He has a whopper of a forehand, and I don't mean a hamburger. <laughs> it's heavy, it's tough, it's a lot of spin. So today he's testing rackets with me. This is my first time trying the Pure Strike on the new version and the VS Tour. I think to be fair, both are really good rackets. The, the Pure Strike is probably the one that impressed me a bit more from both of them because the, the pop on the balls is just crazy. Like I'm used to playing with the Blade 98 and this is my first time trying. And just the pop on the serves, ground strokes, the spin that I can generate, it's just so... Five ten percent on every shot, at least. so it feels good. Um, the only issue is maybe controlling a bit the power. Um, I feel like you should have quite a big forehand, so so I don't have any issues generating my own power. But with this, I need to try and control it a bit to keep the full stairs down. Thank you. 
Be a Stool is a very nice racket as well. Um, it's solid, not as much pop as the Pure Strike, but um, you can still whip the forehand. A bit, bit more generous on the serve as well, um, but not as much pop, but it's nice as well.